All right, now MKBHD recently launched Panels, a wallpaper application which is pretty good. However, there has been a lot of controversies surrounding this application because of few reasons. In this video, I would like to compare Panels with my favorite application Wallbyte and you guys be the judge and let me know which application is better. I will leave the links for both the applications, download it, install it and try it out and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's dive in and compare these two applications. We've got the Panels icon here and Wallbyte icon here. Now let me open the application simultaneously. As you can see, this app opens all the wallpapers instantly and this takes a couple of seconds. For some reason, it takes time to load. Let me just make sure both the applications are closed here and open it again. You see, it is taking a couple of seconds to load all the wallpapers here and this is instantaneously, you will see all these wallpapers right there on your home page here. Now on the top, we've got uh, MKBHD's picture. I admire this guy a lot. I have been seeing his videos since my college days and uh, you know, I'm a big fan of this guy. And of course, many of you guys are. Now let me just uh, slide towards the right here. Some featured artists are shown here. We've got wallpaper of the week collection of the week. Upgrade to panels plus option is also there. I'll come to that in a bit. Now let's look at the interface here. At the bottom, we have got home collections, category, desktop, and favorite wallpaper here on this app, on the wall bite. Now here on uh, panels, we have got a for you, explore and account let me tap on for you now probably this is based on your surf history on the application it will suggest you some of the applications we got suggested liked and library here are the collections and when you tap on explore we have got some free as well as premium applications you can tap on account we can change the themes here system light or dark theme options we have got and we also have app icon options. The default icon actually looks pretty cool. And these three are additional options that we have and these are locked. We will have to pay for these icons and I'm not sure why is that so. Anyways, we have got these icons here. Let me just scroll down here. We've got account details, privacy policy, terms of services, license and version number here. Now on this application, we have got home. We have got all the wallpapers here on the home itself. Almost all the wallpapers are AI generated wallpapers here. We have got uh, latest for you and trending wallpapers. Now on this application, we have got latest for you trending on the top. We can tap on these tabs here to go to these pages. And uh, we have got collections at the bottom. Let me tap on collections. Uh, these are premium wallpapers again. I will compare this with panels in a bit. Uh, we have got pro wallpapers, 100 plus wallpapers are there which are uh, paid. And we have got uh, freemium wallpapers, 720 plus wallpapers. And we have got enchanted minimal wallpaper collection, 40 plus wallpapers we have got. And the developer will keep updating these wallpapers, which is the case with uh, panels as well. Then we have got category here. You can see we can browse these wallpapers by color. On the top, you see we have got these color options. If you tap on green, it will show all those wallpapers uh, in green color. And if I tap on red, we have got wallpapers in red color. And uh, we have got a few more colors over here. Let me tap on pink. Any wallpapers with pink accents will show up right here. So we'll be able to search these wallpapers by color as well. And we also have a search button right there on the top. And when we tap on that, you can search by color, you can browse by category, and you can also look at trending wallpapers right here at the bottom. Now on this app also, we've got search button right here. When I tap on search, we have got a uh, search by color. And we can look at 3D wallpapers, patterns, illustrations, abstract, and photography categories are here. You will be able to tap on colors here. Let me tap on red. You see all these wallpapers in red accents are appearing here. Let me select green. We've got some beautiful wallpapers in green here. Let me tap on yellow. You can see we've got all these wallpapers with yellow background and yellow accents here. The wallpaper collection look pretty cool on the panels as well. And here also we have got some amazing categories you can see. We've got abstract, amulet, animal art, car, anime, colorful cartoon, etc. We've got 3D collections as well. Bike, game, flower, minimal nature, portrait, scenery, space, superhero collections we have got. Then the best part about this Wallbyte application is the desktop wallpapers. You see we've got desktop tab here. It would have been great if uh, panels offered desktop collections as well. I would love to see that in the future. Now here on Wallbyte, you can see we've got these wide aspect ratio wallpapers for your desktop or even for the tablets. 
these are going to look beautiful. Again, these are AI generated wallpapers, not uh, generated by the artists like we have on panels. But on any wallpapers, having this desktop option is really good because if you have a tablet or if you, if you want to set some wallpapers on your PC, these will be really useful. Then we've got favorite section where you can uh, set some uh, wallpapers as favorite and those will come and sit over here. And that is how it works on this application. Let me tap on profile here. Here you can see we have got the uh, subscription fee, subscription options and all that. We've got premium, restore, etc. Let me just go back. Now let's talk about the wallpaper collections itself. Now on panels, we have got wallpapers created by people, by artists, which are available on this application. You can see featured artists here. When I tap on that particular artist, it will show all those wallpapers created by this artist. And these are quite valuable as well. We also have collections here. You see, we have got Flower and Sward uh, produce. These collections are premium collections again. Let me just go back here. So there are some artists who have created these wallpapers on Panels application, whereas on this app, it's mostly AI generated wallpapers. But again, these wallpapers look really beautiful. This is subjective. I don't know what, what do you like, whether you like the uh, wallpapers generated by AI or you prefer wallpaper uh, created by the artist. Let me know in the comment section. Now let's try to apply a wallpaper here. Now I will tap on this wallpaper here. Now both these applications show the wallpaper glimpse here and uh, we can see the details of the wallpaper. It shows the resolution and it says copyright 2024 here on panels. Here it says how many downloads uh, for this wallpaper, resolution, collection, whether it's a freemium or a premium uh, collection. And we've got the file size mentioned here and uh, the copyright uh, details are also here. And if you scroll down on this particular wallpaper, you see on Wallbyte, we have got a fantastic feature called 3D Cube. Or you can also get parallax effect for this wallpaper. Let me tap on 3D Cube here. You see, this is how it's gonna look when you set this wallpaper on the home screen. Let me just preview this here. I'll tap on preview. Now this is how it, it'll look. I will set this wallpaper on the home screen. Let's see how it looks. Now this is a 3D Cube we have got on my home screen. Now that's a very unique feature to this application. You don't see this kind of feature on other apps, but parallax effect is something which you will see on the uh, other third party applications as well. But on panels, we do not have any of these features. We will directly have to set that wallpaper on the home screen. And the thing is, when I tap on this wallpaper here, you see it expands to full screen and it shows the entire wallpaper in full stretch. Whereas on panels, if I tap on this, it just tells me to download in HD, watch ad for full resolution and go ad free by subscribing. That is all we see on panels. We don't even get to see how it looks before applying uh, it on the home screen. On the top, we have got share button and we have got this uh, favorite button here and you can directly close this wallpaper. But even if I press and hold on this wallpaper, I don't get a preview how it looks on the home screen. I will have to to set this let me just set this up now to set it i will have to watch an ad for full resolution or download this in hd only and then you tap on set wallpaper now you can see this wallpaper has been set whereas here i will get to see the preview and then if i like it i can directly save it inside the gallery or i can tap on apply right from here and it asks me whether to apply it on home screen, lock screen, home screen and lock screen both. I'll select home screen, apply, and the wallpaper has been applied here. Now that's another thing to note here. The wallbite application offers some additional functionalities like a parallax effect and a 3D effect, which is not available on this app. And of course, this is a very unique feature which is offered by the developer here on Wallbyte application. Even applying wallpaper is much more seamless on this app is what I feel. I think uh, MKBHD can improve this. They can give us a preview on how the wallpaper is gonna look on the home screen. That would be really great to see. Next, let's talk about the subscription fee on the applications. Now we all know that a lot of users uh, felt that the subscription fee is quite expensive on the panels. Let's compare the subscription fee with this uh, Wallbyte application and let's see how it is. Now both these applications applications run on ads. Of course, if they want to make money, they will have to either run ads or they have to make it a subscription based membership. So both these applications offer both the options. You can subscribe for premium and get rid of these apps and unlock all these premium collections on both these applications. Now it all boils down to how much are you willing to pay for these wallpapers? There are so many wallpaper applications which are available for free. Mostly they run on ads and you will be able to download those wallpapers on those applications. Uh, so why these applications? Now the first thing is, 
These are exclusive wallpapers which are available on both these applications and they are quite unique as well. But if you want to download any wallpaper for free, you will have to watch the ad to download it, not just on panel, even on Wallbyte, it is the same case. But if you want to get rid of these ads, you have to pay and subscribe to this application and let me show you how much that is going to cost you. Now let me just swipe towards the right here and tap on upgrade to panels option and on this application let's go to uh, subscription options here. Now let me tell you how much this is going to cost you guys. Now here we have got two options on panels. We've got standard option, no ads on full resolution singles, exclusive app icons, support artist made work. So if you subscribe to this, it is going to support the artist made work and you will get exclusive app icons and no ads on full resolution singles. And monthly, it is going to cost you about 200 rupees, which is about uh, uh, two and a half dollars, which is pretty expensive. And we also have unlimited option where you can pay a thousand rupees per month, which is about 12 and a half dollars per month you need to pay. And if you're going to pay annually, then this is going to cost you about 2000 rupees per year. So 2000 rupees translates to about uh, $24 per year, which I feel is quite expensive for a wallpaper application. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. Now on this app, we've got a most popular plan here. And currently there is some offer. Lifetime offer is 1050 rupees. So you don't have to pay monthly or annually. You will remove ads, download wallpapers and unlock all the premium and upcoming collections for lifetime. So it's going to cost you just about 1050 uh, rupees, which is just about 12 and a half dollars for lifetime. And we also have another option here, remove ads, download wallpapers and unlock a pro wall collection, only 720 for lifetime that is going to cost you'll be able to unlock one pro wallpaper collections. And if you go for 1050, you'll be able to use all the pro wall collections on this particular uh, wallpaper application. Now cost wise, this is very, very effective. And the panels is quite expensive for a wallpaper application is my thought. But again, it depends on what exactly you need. If you're okay with AI based wallpapers, then this is going to be worth it. But if you want to support those artists who are creating these wallpapers, and if you like those wallpapers, which are there on panels, especially the artist made work, then you may be willing to pay that kind of money. I'm not very sure. You guys let me know what are your thoughts about these subscription costs between these two wallpapers or any other third party wallpaper compared to panels. Drop a comment and let me know. Now to sum it up, both the applications are really good. Both come with their own unique features, their own wallpaper collections, which is subjective. Some of you may find the wallpapers better on Wallbyte app, or some of you may like the artist created wallpapers on MKBHD's panel application. So it is all completely subjective. But when it comes to interface, I feel that this application is uh, slightly better and panels definitely need some improvements, especially when it comes to showing the previews or some kind of unique features that they can offer. That is something which has to be improved on this app is what I feel. And when it comes to subscription fee, of course, these are quite expensive for a wallpaper application. All of you know, even I feel the same. And and this is quite economical. But end of the day, when you're paying so much for the wallpaper application, you would expect some more features, probably a desktop wallpapers. Also, if they make it available on panels, it will be really great. And like I said, the interface can also be improved. Now the parallax and 3D wallpaper effect is pretty cool on this. And I really like the way uh, we can see the uh, wallpaper uh, preview before applying it on this Wallbyte application, which is fantastic. Now you let me know, what do you think about these two applications? Are they worth subscribing? Which one do you prefer? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. If you haven't been a part of Apex community yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, uh, Galaxy tablets, Galaxy watches, and anything related to technology. Go ahead, subscribe, and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.